This week on Keto on the Couch with Rachel and Joe, we'll talk about... When Joe met Rachel. Termites. Eating the carnivore way. And we'll read your question in comments. And we'll get into it right, right after, after this. this. Welcome to Keto on the Couch with Rachel and Joe. I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, crazy Ketos. Ketos. So like Rachel said, welcome to Keto on the Couch. This is a series that we do where we sit down once a week and just kind of discuss our week, our lives, what's going on. Just hanging out. Hanging out with each other and sharing that time with you. So we'll go over challenges we had during the week, what we ate. We'll share that with you. If we remember to take pictures, we'll put pictures up of what we ate. Um, we discussed problems that may have happened in our lives during the week and things we're looking forward to, new things we've tried. We also answer uh, questions that you guys may have. So we'll read them either from comments on our videos as well as from our Twitter and our Instagram. Just like hashtag keto on the couch. Yep. So you can send us either a message on Instagram or Twitter with hashtag keto on the couch or you can comment on this video and we will answer your questions or comments for next week. Yeah. Fun. Yeah. So let's start off with, why are you wearing a tiara? I'm getting very excited for the weekend. We are in like a Renaissance medieval themed um, thing going on in Coastal Kids. Right. And so, yeah, I get to dress up. So you're getting in the mood. I am. I'm getting really excited because like I have a special dress to wear this weekend. Oh, really? Like a queen dress. That's cool. It's like all fancy. We'll have to put a picture of what you look like in it. I'm excited. Hopefully, like, let's remember to you get... you got to remember to take a picture. Take a picture. I'm sure somebody will snap a picture of you because Rachel always shows up at church in something kind of wild. Not necessarily weird. Sometimes it's weird, but it's usually kind of out there. And when she doesn't, like, people comment. Like, I was looking forward to some weird, wild... It's fun. Um, I, I love themes. I love themes yeah. for parties. I loved having little kids, and I would theme out way beyond what the kid wanted. The best part is that she would theme out like on a really strict budget. Yeah, yeah. We you've heard of a, a shoestring budget? We operate on a flip flop budget. <laughs> so I I just love themes. Right. All right. Am I the only one? If you guys enjoy theme parties. Let me know. Comment down below. Yeah, let us know down below. Like, what kind of themes have you done for What parties? are your favorite themes that you've done for a birthday? I have done... We did a Star Wars one once. Yep. That was so fun. We actually donated um, money to uh, the 501. They, they do... Um, parties. Yeah, they do a Make-A-Wish yeah. foundation. So if you donate to them... Like members of the 501 troop will like come. Yeah, and they like, showed up in stormtrooper outfits. Oh it was my, really awesome. That was the greatest party. I loved a Thomas the Tank Engine one that mm -hmm. I did with Caleb, and we just like used all of the toys that he had at the time. It was fun. I love. We didn't mention parties. we got mugs. <gasps> we got mugged. <laughs> we got mugged this week. I'm so excited. So we have these mugs. Yay. That we just got, and on the back it says... Like basically a little recipe for... A recipe for... Keto coffee. Keto coffee. So I'm we're excited. So we're still kind of testing on these. And once the store is open, like, we'll let you guys know. So yeah. this, these were like samples that got sent to us. So what wanted, are you drinking? We just wanted to make sure they're not like crappy right. branding. What are you drinking? Um, This is a chai tea. Oh, chai tea. Because yeah, I'm in love with it lately. Chai tea. I'm drinking coffee with a couple of drops of uh, monk fruit extract, and one of our subscribers, I don't even remember who, recommended this stuff because I don't like black coffee, so they recommended this stuff, so I picked it up. Nut pod. And it is really good. We actually have a review coming out on this. We're going to be doing a review on Let it. Let me try it. So you want to okay, yeah. try it? So what this is, is it's a... A French vanilla creamer. They had a couple of other flavors, but it's basically unsweetened, dairy-free wow. coffee creamer. And so I'm not going to go way into it because we have the review video on it, but it's basically 10 calories for a tablespoon, and it's zero grams of uh, protein, one gram of calories? fat, and zero carbs. Hello. So, and it's got good ingredients. So yeah. be on the lookout for a review of this. I actually got it on Amazon, and it's not super expensive either. 
But I, I, I but I'm have, actually liking it. I'm gonna have to drink it separately because you have monk fruit. In yeah. That, so it's kind of hard to tell when it's sweetened. Yeah. Because you just said it's unsweetened, and I'm like, that's sweet. Yeah, it's un but that's good because I've seen. I was looking for some like in Publix. And there is like, I found one in like a nut, it's like nut milk, like almond and coconut like mixture, uh -huh. but it's sweetened. It wasn't super bad. It was like two carbs per serving, but I would really like this because it's zero carbs. Hmm. So. And St. Patrick's Day is coming up this Sunday. It falls on a Sunday. How fun is that? Yeah. I even, I haven't even, we've been so busy. I didn't even get my corned beef, but I'm going to go on Monday because say St. Patrick's Day is on Sunday. On Monday, they'll be like on clearance at Aldi's and I'm going to go gonna snag say, a whole Aldi's bunch of them. Aldi's always has a ton of them left over mm -hmm. because there's no possible way right. to like fill that market. Okay. So how was your week? Any challenges this week? Let me tell you. The spring forward thing totally jacked me up this week. Everything was fine on Sunday, like, except for I totally spaced out and forgot. I thought, what was wrong with my car? Like, that the, it was off by an hour. It was like, no, no I was off yeah, by an hour. Yeah, you mentioned that in our video. Yeah. Okay. So, but Monday and Tuesday, it was like I was totally whacked out, sleep deprived. I was working at the counter, working on something for kids ministry, and all of a sudden it was like, nope, go to bed, you're done. It was weird. Time change messes with people. It is, to me, it is time to dump the time change. I mean, the only reason we even have time change was for the farmer. Is there well, a lot of that farmer anymore. issues anymore? We don't need it anymore. It's time, don't, do you, what do you guys think? Do you think we should get rid of the time change? Let us know down below. Our friend they say it really messes with people. Yeah. It's like, there's a lot of like suicides at this time of the year when you have the time change. Like people are like habitually late for work during time felt, change period. I honestly felt wonky driving. I like avoided it driving It really messes this week. with people. It's time to dump it. Yeah. So. Well, we have a friend that lives in Arizona and he's he doesn't like, have to deal with it. He's like, it's great. Yeah. Well, he no, doesn't have to deal with it. There is yeah. no time change there. Yeah. So, so it's been a challenging week for our house. It has. Yeah. Well, let's start off with, let's see. I got a flat tire in my trailer. I found this big hole in it. And I went to go get tires for it, and they want like $150 for the tire. And then I look online, and Walmart sells them their $51 for the tire. So I like order, and they ship to us. How much is the shipping? Free. So I was like, okay, I'll order two of them, and then I can have an they extra spare tire. They don't have to carry tire. that giant thing out. Yeah, and there's a place near our house that actually will change it for five bucks. So I was like, okay, no problem. I mean, it benefits us, but that doesn't seem like good business. <laughs> Whatever. Then we have... Anthony came to me and like, there's these little pellets like all over my dresser and it's like right below the attic access in our house, like that we put into his room and it's termites. We have termites. <laughs> if we're it's not bad. We don't have to tent our house or anything. And we have a friend of ours at church that fortunately is a pest guy and he's like, I can spot treat that. He's not a pest. He's a, no, he's, he's a, a really pest. good guy. Yeah. But, um, it was interesting that he said to me that a lot of times when you get termites in your house, it comes from the wood. Like if you go to the store and buy wood, that it gets imported from China and stuff with it. And it so comes like, with the pest. He's like, did you do any work in there? And I'm like, yeah, just like last year, we cut a hole in that ceiling there to make an extra attic access. Oh so yeah, we for the air conditioner. Spray insulation in the attic. And I put a wood trim around the hole and that's probably where they came from. Thanks so a lot, Home Depot. <laughs> Jeez. I'm not going to blame Home Depot. They don't know they're importing termites. Well, could they x-ray the wood And I think, I, I don't know, lately our pool, I don't know if it's just it's hot or our pool seems to be low in water. So I'm hoping we don't have a leak there. So. And you got a screw in your truck And I got tire. a screw in my truck tire. Your truck tire got screwed. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Ba -dum -bum, ba -dum -bum. But, so. yeah. So on a good note, I saw Easter Parade this week. Yeah, you watched Easter Parade this week. That's one of my favorites. It's like it's a not really... Easter time yet. I know, but I love that movie. Any excuse to watch it. It's like with Judy Garland and Fred Astaire, which I still don't really understand how like Fr Fred Astaire was like the hottie patati of his time. He's not. I wouldn't know. He's not super attractive. <laughs> Judy Garland's beautiful. Like, <coughs> like I get that, but like, yeah. I mean, I guess. Dancing goes a long way. Well, I saw a movie that like a lot of the girls like. Okay. I finally finished watching the movie. I started. Fred Astaire? No. 
I started watching when we were in Texas. Were we in Texas? No, actually, it's when um, we were over in the West Coast over in um, Relate at for... Relate Conference. I started watching the movie Skyscraper with The Rock. And like I kept now that falling guy asleep. is not Fred Astaire. <laughs> I kept falling asleep watching it, and I've been trying to watch the same movie for like a week. It's like free on HBO. I have, and not it's actually it. a really good, was it good. It was really good. I finally finished it last night, like five days in a row. Like I would watch like ten minutes of it and then fall asleep. And it's not that it's a bad movie. It's just like I've been overly tired. Yeah. So. I think. But it was a good movie. I liked it. I think maybe your sleep got jacked up with spring. Ford now my spring, that. my sleep is just jacked up because I have so much going on. How's your lacrosse games going? I had a kid like threaten to hit me the other day. <laughs> <laughs> it's a long story. Kids these days. Well, it's like I was running down the field and he ran into me from behind and then he's yelling at me and the coach is yelling at me like, you need to get out of the way. I'm like, first of all, how do I even know he's coming? He's behind me. I'm running this way. He's running this way. He sees me. You're a dad. Right? You should have eyes in the back of your head. And the thing is, is like, I'm an official. I'm part of the field. He's supposed to go around me. And the coach is yelling at me and the player's yelling at me. And then later on, it happens again where he literally, and I realized the coach is teaching him to run towards me. Oh, because like a shield. They're using me as a shield. It's called a pick because the other players aren't allowed to hit me. So what do you do? Go get near the official and then they can't hit me because the official's in the way. Do they like pick you off? Or no. they pick you? No. Yeah, they, well, they're, it's called using them as a pick. And so, like, yeah, so when I was in his way the second time, he was like, well, next time I'll just hit you with the ball. I'm like, how about uh, no, you won't? There's a flag for you. You know, like, you've threatened me now. So, but it all was good. I talked to the kid after, you know, like at halftime. And I know he's not really trying to hurt me. He doesn't want to hurt it's me. Like but I'm like, moment. you cannot yell at the top of your lungs, next time I'll hit you. Because everybody in the stands yeah. just heard you threaten an official. I've got to flag you. Right. It's probably wise to watch what you say these days, no matter what. I always tell people, like, new officials and stuff, just remember, somebody somewhere has a recording of you. Yeah. So be careful what you say. Be careful what you do. Like, kids will come up to me and say, hey, can you snap my helmet? It's unsnapped. I'm like, sorry, no. Like, have a it. teammate do it or have a coach do it. And they're like, I don't understand why. And I'm like, somebody will have a picture of me snapping your helmet. Then you're going to get hit. Your helmet's going to come off. And somebody's going to say, well, he didn't snap the helmet right. So wow. you just, it's an, and fortunately we live in the time where you have to protect yourself and protect other people. It's, yeah, things have come along. I can remember like I was, I needed a ride home from school and my PE teacher like drove me home once. Like the that would the never is, happen yeah. now. Oh, I remember when I was in elementary school. Was that, yeah, I guess I was in elementary school slash junior high. We didn't have middle school. We had junior high. So it was elementary school through sixth grade and then junior high was seventh and eighth. And I was in the orchestra and I used to, I was always trying to learn new instruments. So like I was played the clarinet, but then I also wanted to learn the saxophone and then I wanted to learn the oboe. I've never heard you play any of these things. Well, I don't own any of them and I'm old. So it was a long time ago, but I would stay for like private, we, we was a great teacher. I would stay for private lessons and he would like teach me after school and then drive me home. Yeah. That like, would can you imagine happen. in today's age, like some male teacher just driving kids home. a seventh grader, a sixth, seventh grader home alone. Like no. you just don't do that anymore. Yeah. We live in a different time. Yeah. Very so. different time. I, so I, what do we eat this week? Well, I, for, let's revisit the oboe a little bit. Like, was that a major chick magnet? I was in like sixth grade. Come on. Was the accordion taken? Like you couldn't <laughs> play that? I actually knew how to play the accordion. I'm German. My father played the accordion. My father actually played in a German band with his with his father. What were the And names? he wore the later hosen and everything. With like your like the, the PE teacher shorts? <laughs> Was it like that short? What is wrong with you? Was it like the PE teacher from the Goldbergs? <sighs> Those were awesome shorts. Okay. Let's move on. I digress. I don't even remember. What did we eat this week? What was our food like this week? Well, we... we Sunday was... Sunday was... We've had a, a mishmash. Of, we've had a lot of chicken wings this week just because Twice. scheduling. Yeah. Yeah. We, well, we did... Sunday was a mishmash. I know mm -hmm. that. We had like our keto lasagna. We had The wings. keto lasagna has had a lot of good feedback. It's it really so good. is... And again, not my idea. A good dish. But it's so easy to make. Yeah. yeah. So we had the keto lasagna. We had steak. 
right? And yes. And you steak one day. We did. We have to remember to take pictures. Usually, We're horrible with that. I am like hungry and ready to eat, and I just forget. Like, I just food. Oh, one day, I don't know, was it Wednesday? I made. I came up with a new recipe. It was a bacon wrapped. Stuffed yes. cheese meatloaf. It was so easy. So we're gonna. I'm gonna do you a need video, to do a on video this, for that. But it was like basically, I made a meatloaf. Mm -hmm. I stuffed the inside of the meatloaf with cheese, and then wrapped the entire thing in bacon. It came and then out baked really. It. it came out really pretty too. Yeah. Like if you're wanting to, I know have we have a picture of that. I'll put a picture. Yeah. Up we well, the bacon company actually asked if they could use the pictures on like wow, I'm on their stuff. Well, because it just it made a very pretty presentation. So like that's definitely something you would want to bring to like a potluck or a family gathering. Right. Because it looks it looks cute. And then when you slice it open and there's like this cute cheese in the middle. Yep. So anything you're excited about? Well, I'm really excited about our, Your our mugs. cups and we've got like shirts coming. Yeah. I'm excited about that. What about coming up? I will tell you a couple of things like I'm kind of disappointed about that I was recently watching. It was a video that Robert and Crystal put up over on Keto Savage's YouTube. Mm -hmm. I'll leave a link for it up here. It was, they were driving back from, I don't know what, Low Carb Denver, one of, one of the carb conferences. And yeah. they had stopped to get something to eat and something I did not know that was like eye-opening. I probably should have known this, but we don't go out to eat. And that was that IHOP and other restaurants like put flour in their scrambled eggs that like you should to make never, it go further. I don't know. I'm assuming it's to like make it fluffier and fill it up. But it was like, well, I I'm not a scrambled egg eater really anyway. I mean, yeah. I'll make them at home, I but like I never. Eggs though. I always like would buy them sunny side up or over medium. But, but if you get an omelet, yeah, I used to buy omelets all the time, and it was like eye opening. Like, ah. Oh. Very unnecessary. Like, so yeah, so like if you're gonna go out to eat, better check on like no what flour. they're putting in their omelet, what they're putting in their omelets and their scrambled eggs. You're definitely there's definitely places. I think about like Lester's too. I wonder if they don't do it also because it's just they do seem like weirdly more fluffy than anything you're able to. Yeah, achieve I don't know if I don't know why. If anybody knows why yeah. they would add flour, let me know. I haven't researched why. It might make it more I'm like assuming, cloudy. I'm assuming like it makes it fluffier, fluffy. and I'm assuming that it also makes it where they can have more volume for less egg. But again, I haven't researched it. It yeah. was just like disappointing. That is sad. So before we move on, I wanted to mention the Keto Chow Drops. Yes. Did they work? Yeah. we use, I used the Keto Chow Drops this week instead of Zip Fizzes uh, before my games. And I didn't have any cramping or headaches or anything like that on the okay. field. So that was good. And it was really hot this week. So I was very impressed was. with that. Uh, but I think I want to do a follow-up video really breaking down where I think these are good for, what I think they're like best used for, and the cost analysis. But overall... I really like them. They were pretty good. That's nice. Yeah. So a different alternative. A di another alternative. I would say that they're good for uh, replacing like the Keto Vitals and the like Ultima over replacing a Zip Fizz. Not but we'll talk about that in the other video. Not everybody likes the taste of all those other things. Right. Because so that's just like a salty taste. It's a good alternative. Yeah. And it's it's not super expensive. I don't like anything grape. Yep. Oh, yeah. See, I love grape. I think I had too much Dimetap as a child. Do y'all remember Dimetap? That stuff was like, I, I associate sickness with grape flavor. I love grape. You did not have Dimetap. Any other new, oh, you know what we had, we put the video out the other day, but the product I'm super excited about is that new coconut cream keto brick. That thing was awesome. Yes. Okay. You have to go watch the video on that. So but. I have to amend what I said about doing it as a keto coffee. What you really want to do is ha is blend it up hot water and the keto brick. No coffee necessary. Something's wrong with you. I'm telling you, it is delicious. I had one the other day though. I mean, I, I actually wasn't even one. I took the one that we sampled and I ate it over like three days yep. before my games. And... Our review of video of it did not do justice. I did not realize how big the chunks of coconut in there. It's amazing. Yeah. When I started biting into it, I'm like big slivers of coconut. So this I really hope good. they continue making it. But I wanted to try these. Oh, the... The Pork King Good. This came, came in our keto, keto crate. crate. 
And I wanted to try these. I didn't want to do a whole video on them. So we already did the macros online. But when I first saw them, I was a little disappointed. Why? Because I was kind of like, eh, they just look like a, like, I don't know, a pork rind from the grocery store or something. Yeah. Well, I started doing some research and it turns out, I just wanted to read this to you. It turns out that these are actually really, one of the problems with a lot of the store bought pork rinds is they're like frying them in horrible oils yeah. and they don't even tell you what they're frying them. So I looked on this company's website and it's woman owned. It says Porking Good is a proudly quirky pork rind company out of Cleveland, Ohio, small in size but big in personality, owned and operated by a woman who is not only passionate about pork rinds, but is maintaining a hundred pound weight loss through her own low carb ketogenic lifestyle. My kind of woman. We stand behind our products, not only because they are addictively tasty, but because they have been an integral part of our own weight loss journeys. But here's what I really liked about them. And it's what's made me change my mind. They are fried in their own rendered animal fat. Nice. So I wanted to taste them. So okay. what do you think? Yeah. And this I'm flavor, never going to say no to tasting pork rinds. This is lines. the white cheddar flavor. The other thing is, is they have the crumbs that you can use for like bread crumbs. They sell. Oh, that's funny. Should I open it up from the bottom? Forgot. You got after me that one time. Yep. Those are good. Those are really good. I'm going back. I'm hungry. I'm so hungry. I've, I've changed my mind. Like I said, at first I mentioned like, yeah, I can't. I feel like Keto Kid kind of jipped me out on these. And these are actually pretty good. But I'm really impressed with the company more than anything. Congratulations. They have a couple of other flavors. Congratulations on a 100-pound weight loss. Yeah. That so they awesome. do have, it says on the back, they have original pork rind crumbs, spicy Cajun pork rind crumbs, onion and sour cream pork rinds, and Ooh. nacho cheddar pork rinds. So onion we're gonna and have sour to order cream? Them. We're going to have to order those other ones. Onion and sour cream pork rinds sound like a date night made in heaven. <laughs> so we have reached out to them. Oh, okay, good. To ask if... Uh, if they have, have, like if a, you coupon have a coupon code. code, so if they do respond, we'll leave it down in the description. Okay. So these are delicious. Those are pretty good. The um the white cheddar flavor isn't too overwhelming. No, no. It it reminds me of like that white cheddar popcorn you would get. So we have our Redmond Real Salt giveaway. Yay! I love giving stuff away. So wait, let's do that. This was such a cute little so package. So in last week's Keto on the Couch, we talked about that we were trying this new toothpaste. Yes. You still haven't done the video for like the clay. I know. I got to do the, the face clay. Yeah. I so, need to too. I think it would help. So in the video, we said that anybody who wrote, I want hillbilly teeth. I want hillbilly entry. teeth. So in total, we have 27 names. We'll put a screenshot of. I want hillbilly teeth. We said 27, right? 27. Are you recording this? I'm recording it. So number 27 is number, oh, number 27. Oh, number 27. Monica, Monica Montalvo. Montalvo. One of my favorite people on earth. So Monica Montalvo will get this to you. Yay. Do us a favor and send us an email at twocrazyketos at gmail.com with your address and we'll send it out to you. And awesome. here's the good thing. We have two of these. Okay. So if you really wanted this... In our, we're going to put the other one in our 500 subscriber gift box. Yes. So, so you still our, have another chance to get one of these. Some of our favorite things. Yep. We're, we're a box of crazy. While we are on that, we just did a video on the Boyo hot sauce. That stuff is so stinking With, good. I love this stuff. I put some on chicken wings this My week. My sister commented like, not a hot sauce person. It's not super hot I feel though. like this would turn you... It's not super hot. Anyway, we made that video and actually we had already purchased that bottle. Yeah. Because I love hot sauce, but I don't like hot sauce like where you can't taste anything. I like flavor. hot sauce that has flavor, mm -hmm. which is why I like this. But um, we are affiliates of Peely Nuts. <laughs> and so they had actually said they were sending this to us, but oh. we had already bought a bottle and put it up. 
So we're going to give this bottle away. It's a small, like, two-ounce bottle, I think. I think it's two ounces. Yeah. No, it says 1.18 ounce. A oh, 1.18 ounce. Anyway, it's a little bottle, but you don't need a lot. This will actually last you a long way. So mm -hmm. we're going to give this away. Yeah. So anybody who leaves a comment on this video gets entered into it, and then yeah. we'll do the drawing in next week's Keto on the Fun. Couch. As well as next week's Keto on the Couch is the Keto Chow Drops. So we're going to have two drawings in next week's Keto on the Couch video. Awesome. Yes, okay. I remember that was like super confusing. <laughs> that in there. Not this week, not the next week. So, yep. So we're going to give this away just because we already bought a bottle. So yeah, they gave it to us. We're going to give it to you. It's nicely hermetically sealed. Yep. So you want to read comments? Yes. Comment. Oh, you know, one thing we did want to talk about was um, we are going to this week. I'm, I don't know if you're going to do it with me, but I'm going to try a week of carnivore. Oh, yeah. I'm in. Are you going to do carnivore? I thought you were going to say, like, we're going to do a week of spam. Like, I noticed on Instagram you, like, said to somebody, like, I'm trying to get Rachel to get spam. Every time we go to Costco, I see the big thing of spam, and I keep telling them, spam is keto. I mean, it's dirty keto, but it's keto. Oof. And like, let me buy some spam. She's like, no, I'm not eating spam. I always am like, mm, maybe spam when I watch. You know, if you go to dates. Hawaii, they all eat spam. That's what I'm saying. Fifty first dates. I watched that movie, and I'm like, maybe. Didn't you also order some meat? Oh yeah, but that's we're gonna we're gonna actually when that comes, I I'm super excited about this. Maybe it'll come this week. I'm not excited about the well, meat Well, let's order. let's keep them in suspense on that meat order. I found I, I ordered some meat. I'm excited about this. But yeah, we're going to do carnivore this week. Or at least I'm going to do carnivore this I'll week. I'll do it. You're going I'll to do, do carnivore? So, so carnivore Actually, is Actually, should be like Wonder Twins. Wonder Twins? Remember Wonder Twins from the Super Friends? They were my absolute favorite. One would always turn into something totally useless, like a right. bucket of water. And the other one would then have to be like a hawk in order to carry the Did other one around. you guys watch Wonder Twins? A we're mop old. and a bucket. We're just old, though. I love the Wonder Twins. So, Wonder Twins yeah, so... Be. Our carnivore diet is going to be like, we can only eat stuff that comes from an animal. So now here's the cool thing. Like perfect keto bars are technically carnivore because they're made with grass fed collagen. What? But what? we're not including them. Okay. So. Well, I like them though. But no, so we're going to, so it's pretty much going to be, it's just going to be like meat, eggs, cheese, butter, no veggies this week. No veggies. No veggies. Carnivore diet. I want to see how we do. Yeah. I want to see how I do. I always like to try it up. I'm actually like, we were just talking, like, I feel like I need something different going on. Like, I feel like I need a reboot. This will probably be the reboot I need. So, so let's actually talk about the comments. Okay. Okay. So I have a bunch of them here and I'm going to read the ones. I pulled some off of some other videos, but I'll just start with the ones from the keto on the couch last week. All right. So Crystal actually wrote, she wants hillbilly teeth. She liked keto on the couch. She said she was laughing hard while you were talking about TV shows because she's like Rachel. She's like, I will start and then stop and then step in again. And my husband has to spend three quarters of the show to catch me up on a storyline and characters only to then hear me say, yeah, I'm not going to watch any more of this. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I hates... would kill you. Well, sometimes I do do that. Like I have you go through this long storyline. I'm like, meh, I'm not interested. No, but I think what she's saying is like she does, she stops watching the show. Then she comes back. He fills her in on it to only be for her, only, him to, for her to only be like, yeah, I'm still not going to watch it. I would kill you. Like, if I'm going to spend three quarters of a show pausing and pausing and pausing, you're finishing the show now. <laughs> now we're in it together. She also says she loves your short hair. Thank you, Crystal. She, I think she has short hair. I don't know. Yeah. Well, and she says... She said she might be a little biased. Short hair. She also hair. tried to get the coconut yeah. cream keto brick, but couldn't. Mm. So, so please don't make it limited edition. Yeah. It's so good. She also said, I agree, uh, I agree, Joe, with the whole not being hungry since becoming fat adapted. I only think about eating when I sit down and it's almost always boredom or past habits, like yeah. watching a movie or TV. It is. It's for me too. I still find myself at like different times of the day, I'm more sensitive to like boredom eating than others. And I just like, I, I just have, have to, to just keep myself busy. I have to leave the house sometimes. Just to be like, disconnect it. So Rhonda M. said, Keto on the Couch is so much fun. If Aww. you were taking non-keto questions, yes. I want to hear the story of how you met. You are so cute together. My mind was blown by the homemade cheese wraps. I had no idea they were so easy. At least Joe makes them look easy. They're really easy. 
We have actually a cute meeting story. Okay, can we sum it up quickly so we yes. don't two hour video? Yes, yes. So like we were divorced. Uh, Joe had two boys mm -hmm. and I had one boy. Right. And uh, but they were really little at the time. And well, Kay Anthony was six. John Paul was what nine. And, and Caleb, Caleb was, was five. Five or no? It, yeah. And, well, Caleb had just turned yeah. six, so that was. It's it's always weird because like four months out of the year, Caleb and Anthony are the same age, but they're really a year apart. Yeah, and um, my family owned two businesses. One was a sports cards store, yep. and one of them was a comic book store. So guess which one I managed? Not the sports card store, right? Like totally unathletic. So Joe actually coached Little League. I was like, I was heavily involved with Little League. I coached Little League. I was on the board of directors for the Little League, and I went into the comic book store because they had one website yeah and i went in there looking for sports cards and he found me instead and yep that's how we it probably looked like a serial we had like chalkboard paint all over the walls it was like really dark and scary yeah so we ended up going on a date and then we went on a date and that like we went to the movies and lunch because you have kids like you can't do dates at night no and we both have custody of our kids and then we were like oh what are you guys doing what are you doing later and she was like i'm going bowling and we were kind of like, hey, we both have kids. No sense in like prolonging this. Like, let's get together for the bowling thing. If because if I don't like, like your other, kid and you don't like my kids and our kids don't like each other, there is no sense in moving on. And we literally dated every single day, like after that for a year. Our kids were like peas and carrots. But literally all of our dates were family dates. It was like family get togethers. Like we would like we would go on a date like one day during the week, like in the middle of the day but because we had custody of our kids everything was just like get the family together and hang out and see how we blend can i quickly say that caleb had never seen a bald person uh, before he met this you story and so i picked him up from school before that bowling date and i said okay i want to tell you something about this guy joe you're about to meet he's bald and caleb was like he's a very outgoing he had kid. just turned six i mean he and he has no filter at all and so he was like, bald, that's a funny word. And I'm like, yeah, it means he has no hair. And he was like, no hair? Should we pray for him? And I'm like, no, he just doesn't have any hair. So I said, you know what? We don't want to hurt his feelings by saying bald in front of him. So why don't we say bald as many times as we can on the ride over and just get it out of our system? So he was like, okay. So we said it, bald, 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 like all the way there. And I thought, okay, great. And he's like, all right, I won't say anything to him about being bald when we get there. So we get to the bowling alley. He meets Joe. He's looking at me like, mm, you know, I'm not going to say anything. And so we go to put our shoes on, our bowling shoes on. And Joe, being like cute guy trying to date, um, says, hey, Caleb, can I put your shoes on for you? Can I tie your shoes? And he's like, no problem. As soon as Joe bent over... Caleb starts rubbing his head. I mean, rubbing it. And then he's looking at me like, oh, see, I didn't say a thing. Never said the word bald. And I thought, well, I'm never going to see Joe again. But you we were did. totally, totally nice so. about it. Okay. So, yep. So that's how we met. So, and, and the rest is history. 12 years ago. Yeah. Actually, it's 12 years ago next week. It's been a good 12 it's years. It's been a good 12 years. Jim Kuhn wrote, Hi, I recently started watching with my wife. We've been keto for a year in February. I'm 68. I still have all my teeth, including my wisdom teeth. And you wouldn't go. Mind, and wouldn't mind temporarily having hillbilly teeth. Aww. Which I think is described as a northern Michigan backwoodsman, which I guess we really are. Enjoy watching you and for keeping it clean. We try. We do. We have the occasional off-color thing, but it's I'm like sorry. kind of like... We have a middle school. It's a hidden school. off color. We have kind of a middle school level sense of humor. They like watching with their grandkids when they visit. Hi, grandkids. So, so see you on the tube for the, which is a flat screen. Who don't know TVs were actually tubes. I am old enough to know the TV was actually a tube. I remember when our TV was like a giant piece of furniture. That we put tchotchkes on when top I of. When I was growing up, we had it's like when I was growing up. I had to walk Brett six was only miles. A nickel. No, I mean we had one TV in our house until I was fourteen years old. It was a twelve-inch black and white TV. And guess what you watched? Whatever, whatever Daddy yep, watched. Whatever Daddy watched. Which was the news at five o'clock. 
and sports all night long. But don't you feel like you were more like educated on world affairs than our uh, modern I children sit are? I and watch it, but <laughs> and then we only had three channels too, so a lot of Mister Rogers in the morning. Yes. Okay, so Susie wrote, great video. I am an ultimate Thanks, fan of NYPD Blue. So if you haven't seen all 12 seasons, that is definitely something to you binge watch. You liked I NYPD. love that I've show. I've never seen I, it. Again, I'm old, so I actually watched it when it was on. Loved Dennis Franz. It was like an incredible character. i never seen it. Showed so. his butt on TV. He was the first ever, like, it was on regular television. I remember that's what they made him switch it to 10 o'clock and What put, a butt to start with. That show actually started that whole warning thing you see on TV shows oh. now, like warning the show. They have, may have brief news. It was because of that show, but a great show. I've, Susie's got good taste. <laughs> I'll have to watch it. Noelle and Beth Escobar said, I actually use the lemon earth paste. Nice. I have wanted to try the other flavors, so I want hillbilly teeth. I love the, your hair, by the way. Thank you, Miss Beth. That's so awesome. I was actually, I feel like way behind the times, a lot of people commented that they were already using the earth paste. And I I'm have, like, wow. I, I had no try idea of lemon it. lemon yet. What did you think of lemon? I liked it, but it's kind of weird for me. Like lemon, like brushing my teeth. Like Did, I'm used. I want mint. I was gonna say. I feel like it's not clean enough. I, I like mint, but I've always like been a mint menthol kind of person. We had gotten like an orange creamsicle brand of Crest one time, and I remember yeah. thinking, okay, now I've got to like clean my. They had teeth a vanilla with... mint, and they had an orange like mint, and, and I thought, it was like, I gotta good, go back but, in there and yeah. clean it with mint. So. So Tina wrote, not that you would ever feed toothpaste to a dog, but you mentioned that the Redmond Earth Paste has xylitol in it. This stuff is toxic and deadly to dogs. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. I do know that, but a lot of people didn't know that. Um, xylitol will also raise your blood sugar. Wow. So we it, and not as much as regular sugar, but if you go, I'll leave a link up here. Matt and Mega did from Keto Connect did a thing and it did impact their blood sugar. Wow. So. so if someone's on a fast, do you think that they should try to use an alternative toothpaste? All toothpaste has sweeteners in it for the most part. It's not going to, you know, and again, it's not sugar. Like a lot of them right. have sugar or sorbitol, which will really impact. Um, That's good to know, though. We learned pretty quickly to hide everything from Tabitha. Like she will chew on everything. So it's like, it's like having a toddler on the house. Sometimes, oh, I know. sometimes I will get on my hands and knees and see like, is there anything in her eye line? But her, her eye line is getting taller and taller. Taller and taller. I feel like pretty soon I can just stand up. So on another video, uh, Hurricane806 asks, what camera equipment do you use? We have been using our iPhone, what is it, the 10s Max, 10s Max. That's what we've been using. Aren't you amazed at camera phones? I know. They give like such a good quality. Amazing now. So we just bought, actually that's with this video, this is like our first video using it. We just bought the brand new Sony 6400 is what it's called. It's a major investment for us. We had to sell a bunch of stuff in order I to I sold my old it. camera, which I was really impressed with. I sold my old camera, which wasn't really good for doing video. Mm -hmm. But I sold it for only $200 and less than I paid for it six, uh, three years ago. It's pretty good. So I was impressed with that. And then we use an Olympus recorder, so... One day we'll kind of show all the stuff we use, but yeah, we're excited about our new camera. We're gonna, we're really working on trying to improve the quality of everything for you guys. So, um, MJ Hawk wrote, "You are so MJ sweet Hawk. to pray for your offer to pray for your viewers. You are sincerely nice. One of the best reasons, one of the reasons I watch you. You're sincerely nice." She always has something so edifying to say thank you. And yes, if anybody's watching this video, maybe you didn't see the vlog. If there's anything. That, that you'd like prayer about, like we'd love to have the honor Absolutely. of praying for you. Yeah, and you can, if you want a private request, just send us an email yeah. at twocrazyketos at gmail.com. Anytime. Yep. She also wrote on our stall video, like we were talking about our stall, mm -hmm. and I just wanted to read this because I was like excited. It said, great points. She's lost 113 pounds over wow. the course of three years. Congratulations. She said, and I found that I had to get more and more aggressive in order to reach her goal. I agree yeah. with you that tracking is absolutely key. And I always plan out the day's meals in advance so I know what I can eat. That is smart. So smart. And I mean, early on, that's what I used to do because it just, if you plan out what you're eating tomorrow, it makes it much harder to cheat because like you it's planned out. This, no negotiation. Every, there's my list. This is what I get to eat. Whether I eat it in one sitting or I eat it over three sittings, this is what I get. And when this is gone, I'm done. Because I'm like, like a defense attorney. 
I will try to negotiate hard. Yep. So she said, um, so I can know what I mean, how big of a portion I can have and how I can fit in some delicious keto coffee. I am a big fan of keto coffees and I have a variety of formulas to fit the nice. day's macros. Well, that's smart. That's really smart. And we do the different, like, I mean, sometimes it's MTT powder, sometimes it's the oils, sometimes it's butter, sometimes it's heavy cream, like a combination of all of them, depending on how many calories. That's smart. Yep. She said, for a skinny coffee, that's who it was that recommended the nut pods, which we do have a review on oh, and I'm using okay. today. And I'm thank you very much, MJ, for that recommendation. I am really pleased with it. Nice. So, she said, I last stalled about at about 106 pounds and was so frustrated. I took January and focused on fasting. I made a ton of progress and doing successful alternate alternate day fast and staying strictly whole foods keto on the days I ate. It made a huge difference. That's so. awesome. We've experienced that same thing. Yep. But congratulations. Congratulations. That's an amazing accomplishment. And well, while we're on the subject of that, we would like to share your success stories. So yes. if you want to, feel free to email us like before and after photos. Oh yeah. And uh, we're gonna, I want to start a thing on our website of like just people who've been successful to where maybe you can help encourage other people. Absolutely, because I think that that's key. I mean, you don't always get super encouraged in the keto lifestyle. I love going down our Instagram and seeing just before and after photos of people. Like, you're like, wow. But when like, you're grocery so shopping, encouraging. sometimes people aren't super encouraging. So, Like, one of your friends just sent us, like, pictures, like a before and after photo. Like, I really would love to put it on here, but I, I know. know she'll kill us. I don't want to do it without but, permission. But, like, I was like, wow. Like, I'm so proud of her. Like, she looks incredible. Gorgeous. So. Gorgeous. I, I, we have some friends, too, that have, like, young kids that have lost a bunch of weight. And, and just thinking, like, man, I wish that I had done that when the kids were small and we were meeting. And just to have more energy to run around after them and stuff. Like, I don't know. I just, I'm excited for people losing weight. And I, we want to celebrate that with you. Yes. Yeah. So yeah, so send us like if if you want, you know, yeah. it's not a requirement, but send us like some before and after pictures with like your little story. I want to like do a we a page on it just like, you know, people who have lost weight on keto to encourage other people. Yeah. Yeah, because sometimes just seeing like the progress and at different ages too. Yep. Like my mom has been a super big encouragement to people in like the over 65 community because to see it's possible. Yep. So. You know? to get off medication after a very long extended period of time on a particular medication, that's a real victory. Yeah. So one question that wasn't in that list, somebody asked, I don't remember who it was, if it was Gail asked about the lasagna, on the lasagna video, asked about the cooking. Yes, I've always cooked. She asked about if I've, if I've always cooked or is it just on keto? Nobody wants me cooking. I've always cooked. I love cooking. I've passed that on to Anthony, who loves to cook. He does like to cook. You you come from a long line of my dad guy cooked, cookers. My, my grandfather loved to cook. Yeah. I like playing with different things and looking at like recipes or manipulating other people's recipes. And then I also like taking a product and going, I could make that, looking at the ingredients and figuring out what's in it and then coming up with my own. I feel very blessed that that I have you as a And husband. I've cooked most of our marriage. Yeah, you have. And and it really has been a blessing. And I try to reciprocate by being a good cleaner up or after or yeah. sous chef if you need a sous, a sous chef. chef. <laughs> so we have some good videos coming up over the next week or two weeks that we've already done and some things we've got planned. I'm we sorry. are really working on getting a new video out every other day at least, but it's kind of working out right now because we have so much that we want to do that it's kind of working out every day. Yeah. We just get excited. We can't wait to talk yeah. to you. I'm, we'll have a video and she's like, when are you releasing? I'm like, in, in, t in two days. No, release it now. I get excited. So, but we are trying to do one at least every other day and Fridays are generally going to be two. Yeah. yeah. Fridays we'll usually release a, a review video as well as like an informative video. Yeah. So I'm trying to do like one cooking video a week. We've got a couple of really good cooking videos coming up. I'm excited about those. And this week I believe we have, um, we just got to finish putting it together, our video on the grass-fed meats, eating grass-fed organic for a week. I cannot a budget. believe you did it. Yep. I did it and I did it pretty well. Yeah. <laughs> So I'm excited about that. And doing it and doing it well. Doing it and doing it and doing it well. 
So that is keto for the couch on the couch this week. Uh, if you want us to answer any of your questions, if you have any comments, just something funny to say, yeah. leave it down below in the comments section where you can send us a message on Twitter or Instagram with the hashtag keto on the couch. Yep. And we will read them next week in Keto on the Couch. I can't wait. So if you like what you saw, do us a favor. Hit the like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon. And that way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Yeah. And uh, don't forget to check out our Instagram, our Twitter, our Facebook, 2 Crazy Ketos, and our website, which is 2CrazyKetos.com. So until next time, bye. Bye.